Well, good morning, folks. It's just gone seven o'clock, and I'm in the most sheltered spot I can find. Um, I've come down for a wee coffee to Blackness Castle. Now, it was about a five mile walk in from Bowness. Still relatively close. Yeah, I'm going to be more than an hour, obviously. Um, so, I'm just going to get a coffee and then sort of take you for a wee wander. Um, as soon as my water boils. This was always a favourite for coming on the Sunday school trips to Blackness because there's a lovely wee sort of grass area. Just over there, which I'll show you in a wee bit. That'll be me boiling. Oh yeah. Alright, that'll be hot Andy. There we go. A coffee in me first, I think. Let's go for a wee wander, guys. So as I said, folks, it's a tad windy. So, bear with me. So this is Blackness Castle used as a location for Outlander. Um, this was the jail in Fort William where Jamie was whipped by Black Jack Randall. I'm going to do a separate video of my pictures from today so I'll um, include some of the pictures of Jamie's whipping inside the castle. Unfortunately due to um, COVID-19 the site is closed uh, I ain't going to be trespassing today well I have a wee bit I've taken some pictures at the entrance so um, the castle itself was built in 1440 by a dude called Sir James Crichton he then passed it on to King James II of Scotland in 1453 now this place was still being used up until 1912. It was used as a, an ammunition depot at one point in its life. It was also used as a state prison, obviously a prison for the area. It was named the ship that never sailed because of its design, and I'll include a picture um, of its design in my picture videos. Video. Now look at this, right over to the both bridges, how beautiful is that? even more and strengthened and then in its time it was made to be one of the one of the best and most advanced artillery fortifications in Scotland. So there you go. And you would say to yourself, all these soldiers that are in there what happened? Right. 
trying kind of girl again. So just one thing that plays it in the line. Pretty impressive me thinks. Oliver Cromwell, he was kicking about here at one point when he besieged the castle in 1650. He was forever running about besieging castles, wasn't he? So unfortunately I'm kind of limited about how much movement I've got here, um, where I can go, what I can see and do. So. It was just a wee jump out, just to get out there. And you know, I'd never tire of that view. Although I suppose I would prefer being sitting next to a lock somewhere. But hey ho, you've got needs must. See over in the distance there. Um, Queen Elizabeth liner a few years ago. That was a sight to be seen. Three of them uh, are the power of engineering genius. So as you can see the white horses on the river. You can see it's quite windy. Especially that flag, that's getting a big lull up there. But you know it's, it seems to be getting better, so I'll bring these back.
So guys, this jetty was built, I think this was built sort of in the early 1900s. If I'm wrong, please, please correct me. I've never been to this part because every time I come, the tide's too far in. Well, there's a big ring. It's a big ring. This is where I follow my arse. Maybe. Or maybe not. Wow, this would have been a perfect spot for golf. This a rock is where Jamie was whipped by Black Jack. This is as much of the insight as we're going to get today. As I said earlier, the, the castle's closed due to the COVID epidemic, pandemic even. So, we ain't getting in. On a normal, on a normal day, it's six pound to get in, and six pounds well worth it. If you were to look back my recovery wild campers, no, sorry, my Fourth Valley recovery campers Facebook page, see sort of photo footage of the inside when we visited uh, was it last summer I think summer before maybe so yeah so from the rock that Jamie was whipped from Stay positive, stay healthy. Catch you later.